So one of the most common things that we use in both our warmups and in our exercise or our conditioning is the squat. Squat's actually something that you're born knowing how to do, but as we get older and we sit a lot, our squat gets lost. And today we're gonna go over what the proper mechanics of a squat are so that we make sure that when you're doing it, you're reinforcing good habits and not bad. So the squat is actually something that we're born knowing how to do. We may not be able to do it until we get a little bit older, but once we start squatting, it's usually perfect. If you've ever seen a little kid playing in the playground or running around at home and they ever squat down, you notice their squat actually looks really, really good. But as we get older, we tend to sit a lot more than we squat and so we end up losing the ability to squat properly. Now when we're in the gym, a lot of times squats can be used as a way to warm up. They can be also be used as part of our strength and conditioning. And when I walk around and I see the kids doing squats uh, in those two different settings, there are some common mistakes that are made that actually reinforce bad mechanics and can lead to injury whenever we get into kind of stressful physical situations like tumbling or stunting, especially when we're under fatigue. So today we're gonna go over how to properly do a squat so that way when you're warming up or doing it in your conditioning, you're reinforcing good mechanics and not setting yourself up for an injury. So starting from the bottom, we're gonna work our way all the way up to our shoulders. The first thing we want to make sure of is where our feet placement are. Common mistakes that are made are that our feet will get too wide and that puts our knees into a bad position. So we want to have the feet somewhere in the width of our hips to our shoulders. Now, hip positioning or hip, uh, your, your physiology, how your hips are made, can determine how wide your squat goes, but it should be comfortable, not too wide, not too narrow. So this is about what's comfortable for me, a little bit outside of my hips, closer to what my shoulder width is. Additionally, we wanna make sure that our toes are angled somewhat forward. We don't wanna be way turned out, and we also don't wanna be aggressively turned in. There's no one position for the feet. The most important thing, again, is that it feels comfortable. So for me, it's about right here. Now, as we go to squat down, the next thing we wanna focus on is where are our knees going? One common mistake I see with our athletes is as they squat, their knees collapse in, which is really unhealthy for our knee. It can set you up for an ACL injury, a meniscus injury, and reinforce those bad mechanics. So as we squat down, we want to make sure that our knees are tracking over our toes. We don't want them to collapse in. Now, if you're a coach and you're watching your athletes do this movement, one of the things that the feet being too wide can do is cause them to collapse down. So one easy fix for this can be just to tell them to bring their feet in a little bit more narrow. So as we go to squat down, we want to try to keep our chest upright. We don't want to arch forward. Some arch is okay depending on how our athlete is built. For me, I have a little bit of a forward tilt in my squat. That's where I'm most comfortable. I don't have a directly upright chest and torso. So as we squat, we want to think hips are going slightly back and I'm dropping down towards the floor. And then from there, we want to come back up. Now again, from the side, again, I have a little bit of a forward torso when I go down. Some athletes will have a little bit more where they're here, kind of like this. Some athletes will be more upright. There's no one exact way to do it. We just wanna make sure that we're not rounding our back and we're not drooping with our shoulders. Now with the squat, depth is important, but it's not the most important. Mechanics are the most important. So if our athlete can't go down fully all the way to the bottom without losing the technique, that's okay. We just want them to work on trying to get deeper as they get better at the squat. Now, we also want to make sure that when they're doing their squat, that their feet are staying flat on the floor and that we're not rocking forward with our heels coming off the ground like that. Again, that puts a lot of load on our knee, not the most healthy position, and it also can lead to injuries in the knee. So we wanna make sure that as they squat, our feet are staying flat as we come back up. Now, one thing for us to focus on is we wanna make sure our eyes are staying upright. That'll also help to keep our torso in the right position so that we're not hinging forward too much, which is not quite a squat, it's more work in the hamstrings and glutes. Now, when we do these squats, we want to make sure that we're reinforcing this each time. And by taking a little bit of time before your conditioning or before your warm up to explain these mechanics and then let your athletes know, hey, we're gonna be coming around, we're gonna be making small tweaks, 
It's a really easy way to start laying a good foundation for this movement. Again, everything we do in sports, I, a lot of it, maybe not every single thing, but a lot of things that we do in sports are based around are based around good squat mechanics. And so by laying that foundation down early, we can help our athletes to be more athletic as they grow, as well as prevent those injuries that we talked about. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video. Everybody needs to work on their squats. I hope that you take some of these cues, maybe look at yourself in the mirror, see if you're making some of those same mistakes that I see whenever I walk around and look at our athletes. If you'd like more videos like this one, click the link above. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you know when we come out with new videos. We're coming out with them all the time. We'll see you on the next one.